Thank you, Father, for answering our prayer. There is none holy as the Lord. There is none beside you. of ages, our Lord, our God, our Redeemer, our Savior, our King, we worship you. We honor you. We bow before you. We appreciate you. We bless your holy name. Thank you for keeping us alive. I have checked and every member of the grateful church is alive. We give thanks we give praise thank you for january thank you for february thank you for march thank you for april thank you for may thank you for june thank you for july and thank you for bringing us into all those all through you've kept us and preserved us we are grateful all through you've fed us you've clothed us you've given us shelter of our head thank you for divine health thank you for healing Thank you for your blessing on every side. Thank you for your outstretched hand. Thank you for your deep help. Thank you for answering our prayers. Thank you for leading us in the way that we should go. We bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. We worship. Daddy, we worship. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. To you be all the glory. Lord, as we listen to your word, speak to us use me to speak to your children let your word profit us let your word do us good let's power in your word let your word come with that power take all the glory everyone listening and who will listen later on online on site father bless every soul take all the glory lord in jesus name we have prayed well, let someone shout hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you real good. Uh, just a word for someone before I go into the teaching of today. It simply says, always pray before you start driving always pray before you start driving in fact i also made a uh, a banner for it always pray before you start driving amen i assure you nothing will happen to anyone Just a big, uh, very simple. You can even put a sticker on your dashboard that can remind you, or you know, whatever. Practice it, and then you won't uh, forget. Hallelujah. Amen. Online on site, welcome to church. Thanks for joining us wherever you <laughs> join from. The Lord bless you. Uh, it's our Thanksgiving service. Also doubles as our communion service. We have a lot to do. We will do them, and God will be glorified, and we shall be blessed. This morning, I have the privilege from the Lord God Almighty, another great privilege 
I want to tell you that anytime God calls you to do something for him, it's a great privilege because he has billions of people that all over the earth that he could use and he chooses to use you and I. What a privilege. All right. Please join me as we'll be looking this morning in preaching to you in what God has helped me to title, Winning with Praise. <laughs> Winning with Praise. Winning with praise. Somebody say that with me. Winning with praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let's begin looking at these. Let's open our Bible to Psalm chapter 67. I'll be reading from verse 1 to 7. Psalm chapter 67. I'll be reading from verse 1 to 7. Psalm chapter 67. I'll be reading from verse 1 to 7. So let's quickly go there. Uh, Praise God. Psalm chapter 67, reading from verse 1 to 7, and I read for you. God be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us. Amen. That thy way may be known upon earth, thy saving health among all nations. Let the people praise thee, O Lord, O God, let the people praise thee. O let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Selah. Let the people praise thee, O God, let the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield an increase. And God, even our own God, shall bless us. That's the part I like most. Verse 7. God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. The other part I like also. Amen. Amen. Come with me still to Psalm 100. Psalm 100, and I'll be reading verse 4 alone. Just let's go further a little bit. Psalm 100, I'll be reading verse 4 alone. Oh, thank you, Jesus. There's a strong unction. There's a strong grace here. <laughs> Amen. Psalm 100 and verse 4 alone. It says, Enter into his gate with tents given, and into his court with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Did you see that? We enter into God's presence with Thanksgiving. With Thanksgiving. Today's Thanksgiving service will do it well. But in your own personal life, make every day your Thanksgiving day. Amen. One more scripture. Just bear with me. I'm sure by now you know me that I read a lot of scripture by the leading of the Lord. Psalm 34. Psalm 34 and verse 1 alone. Psalm 34 and verse 1 alone. Psalm 34. And verse 1 alone. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Where? His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Hallelujah. You see, I read the scriptures for a reason. And also to prepare the message. The Bible teaches us a lot of spiritual truths. That will make us win in life. We just need to be aware. To take recognition of this. And to apply them to our lives. The Bible teaches all truths. That's why God said we should study his word day and night. Because the Bible teaches all truth. Which is the Bible which is the word of God will give you all truths. That will make you a winner in life. Amen. Amen. And one of it is winning with praise. So today we are looking at winning with praise. Winning <laughs> with praise. Praise, as you all know, is a powerful offering that general Christians should engage with. <laughs> it's just that so many Christians... I've heard about this, but do not know this with a deep revelation. Praise is a powerful offering that every genuine Christian should engage with. Amen. Should use, engage with. 
Very important. There are vital informations and practices that you should give your life to. If you want to live a fulfilled life and a long life guaranteed, there are vital informations that you should know about the kingdom. I mean, the kingdom of God. And there are vital practices that you and I should give ourselves to. If you want to live a fulfilled life and you want long life guaranteed for you, this is unnecessary information. This is unnecessary practice that you should give yourself to. Amen. <clears throat> Very important. Many Christians don't have a praise life anymore. Remember, God has been taking us on a journey. I, I am someone that I go back home after the message and begin to see the connections of God's voices. And everything is speaking to us in church. So I begin to, you know, amen. Very important. Last week he told us, you know, be, that we should be very careful and being aware of a satanic exchange. Because it's going on all over the world. Many Christians have lost the praise lifestyle. There's no more the praise lifestyle in their life. I beg you in the grateful church. Let it not be so named among us. Don't lose your praise lifetime. Don't. If it is down or dead, resurrect it. <laughs> resurrect it. You have to create time to praise God intentionally. You know, I like the word intentionally because it helps, you know, to qualify the message very well. You have to create time to praise God <laughs> intentionally there's a difference between the corporate praise in church and your personal time of praise with God there is a difference there is a difference very important there is a difference you must have a time that you praise the Lord you must have a lifestyle of praising God don't be someone that leads people to praise and you don't praise or you don't have a time to praise. Hmm, let it not be so. You and I have to understand deeply the power of praise for our dominion. We are set for dominion. I want, I've taught you this and, I, and I'm sure it's in your spirit. You and I are set for dominion. What do I mean? We are created to dominate. Let us create man in our own image and let them have dominion. Let them have dominion. That's our mandate. And to work in this mandate, I told you earlier on, there are vital information and practices that you must give yourself to. Very important. And these things work because the word of God cannot fail. These things work. Men of old have put it to practice. I have practiced it, tested this, prove it. It works. It works. It works. You have to deeply understand the power of praise for your dominion. <clears throat> the power of praise. I'm sure a lot of us must have heard about this. <clears throat> that the doing, the doing is the main thing, is the most important thing. Because scripture says to us, to the, to the apostle James, it says that be not hearers alone, but doers of the word. Because hearers and not do, being a doer, that person, the Bible says, deceives himself. But someone who's a hearer, and then the doer shall be blessed indeed. Very important. You want to overcome difficult circumstances of life. You must have to offer praise to God. I tell you always, there are circumstances in life that will seem Unsurmountable, but it's not. It's not the difficulty you go through in life. You look at sin. There's no way. There's always a way. There's always a way. Offer praise. You see, when your praise like overcome them. What do I mean? Your
is functional. It's a bit victory all the time. I'm not lying to you. I'm telling you the facts of life. See, I, I will not lie to you that there are challenges in life. And I will not shy from telling you that there are victory in life. Victory. Victory. If you want to anticipate victory, offer praise to God. Have it. Like I always say, if family can have it, so good. So good. So good. I mean, let me start for this way. A congregation can have it. So good. So good. A family can have it. A couple can have it. You know, so good. Beautiful. Beautiful. I hear someone's eyes. Don't worry. God will help you. You and your husband. You, you will have an altar. You have the same. But it's speaking of songs there. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. For a couple to have it so good. So good. And also, the, the, the most important one, the, the one that looks good on God. It's the one that you come along. Amen. That's what the Bible says that, and he, that, you know, pray to God in secret. God shall reward him what? Openly. When you come alone, you and the Father, and you praise him, you praise him, you praise him. If your room is too small, go on a praise walk. Come on. Go on a praise walk. Praise him. Praise him. If you are shy, you don't want people to see you. Take it maybe when it is gone. You know, when when the when the night begins to fall, you know, you know, I, I'm I, I'm not trying to tell you time, but around seven, you know, then begin to walk in the park, begin to praise him, begin to praise him. That's if your room is too small, or you 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 know, you are someone like some of us. You just want to stretch. You just want to you you also want to see his creation and and, and enhance your praise to him. Amen. Very important. Very important. Very important. And I also want to add, don't just be praiseful in time of need. People begin, some people, it is when there is a strong need. They want to get a visa. They want to uh, travel overseas. You know, so they need to go and get a, a visa from the United States uh, Embassy. And then that's when they begin to, that's when they have serious prayer and praise. No. Be praiseful as a lifestyle. Be praiseful as a lifestyle. Make it a lifestyle. A lifestyle. Not when difficulty arises. No. Not when, oh, I lost my job. That's not when to be, now be praising God and organizing prayer. Let it be a lifestyle. I tell you, when it's a lifestyle, you rise upon challenges. I am telling you the truth. I lie not. When it's a lifestyle, you rise upon challenges such that, so sweet. I'm telling you this morning, so sweet. So sweet. The enemy tried, or maybe even the company themselves, close this job. The Lord opens another one. He opens another one. Why? The altar of praise is hot. It's functional. It's functional. Because what you put on the altar speaks. Altar speaks. Both evil altar and, you know, <clears throat> divine altar. You know what I mean by divine is godly altar. They speak. They speak altars. Altars. That's what the Bible talks about. The sacrifice of praise. The sacrifice of praise. I'll tell you this, which I think you also know. Praise touches the heart of God. It touches the heart of God. It reaches God's heart. Much more when it is offered genuinely. Genuinely. When I go, I don't, I don't have any prayer request. I don't have any difficulty. I, I just go. I, it, I, I see him lay hands on me to the extent of a physical manifestation of the hand being laid. I lie not. Very important. And there's no feeling like that, that you have the aura of God on you. You aura of God. There was a time I was praising. I was praising. And the, the, the entire... My sitting room shook. It shook with evidence. 
as in everything hung on the on the wall. They they, 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 fell, they came down. And then later on, I had a, a bit of news that you know something like like, like an earthquake, uh, not really an earthquake, like a shaking in that area. I knew God. Amen. Very important. I mean, we can go on, but there isn't much time for us for me today because it's Thanksgiving. You, I mean, the, you know, in the, the popular uh, king, you know, King Jehoshaphat. I mean, if you know the story in Second Chronicles chapter twenty, if you read from verse one to the end of to twenty-two, there about. So he, he, he had a battle, isn't he? And what did he do? He sent instead of sending warriors. What did he send as warriors? He sent uh, choristers. <laughs> he said, choristers, worshippers. They went, worshippers. Imagine sending worshippers into battle. <laughs> Imagine sending worshippers into battle with instruments in their hands and songs of praise in their mouths. As they praise and worship God, he rose up for them on their behalf and he completely destroyed their enemy. All their enemies were <laughs> completely destroyed. What is that thing that is troubling your hearts? <laughs> what is that that's pen, pending? You've been asking, you've been asking. I've been asking God, and it has not been delivered. Awake to victory with a praise lifestyle. Awake <clears throat> to victory with a praise lifestyle. Very important. Awake to victory. <laughs> Awake to victory. Many a times, many a times, not all the Delaying our breakthrough. Our to victory with a praise lifestyle and see God move. See God move. Continually in your mouth. Non stop. Don't cease. Don't, don't praise. And then you, you experience something good. And then after you've enjoyed it, you stop. No. Praise lifestyle. We're saying praise lifestyle. A lifestyle of praise. Look at Psalm 34, verse 1. We read it earlier on. Let's just look at it again. <laughs> Psalm 34, verse 1. He said, I will bless the Lord at what? All times. <clears throat> look at the scriptures. The Lord at all times. I like the second uh, sentence there. He said, His praise shall what? Continually be in my mouth. Continually. And I'm sure you know what continually means. Continually. Continuously be in my mouth. Non stop. Stop. I mean, I'm not saying that you won't sleep. You know. I mean, what I'm saying is that you have a praise lifestyle. Praise lifestyle. That's the way I live. Not because I should live. That's the way God wants us to live. So I chose to live like that. You went to a supermarket, you could buy everything you want. You could afford it. You could afford it. And you pay that you're going. But I thank you for the grace to be able to afford it. I bless your name. <laughs> praise lifestyle. Praise lifestyle. Praise lifestyle. Praise lifestyle. Wake up in the morning, life flags. Give him a worship. <clears throat> Give him a song. Give him a song. Some of you, songs come through you <clears throat> easily. Flow with him. Some, some of us, it doesn't come. <clears throat> you you, you kickstart it. What do I kickstart it? Just get, I mean, every one of us have our, what I, what would, what I would call, I'm sure, what, what, what I would call um, a choice song, isn't it? Everyone, everyone always have their choice song. Am I correct? We always have our choice song. You know, so kickstart yourself with your choice song. That's what I do. I have, I have, I have my choice song. That what I mean by choice song. That when I sing that song, it takes me into the spirit realm. It takes me there. So kickstart yourself with your choice song. Take your phone, or whatever the player you have in your house. Play your choice song. By the time you play your choice song, it stir up your spirit. You will find yourself just moving in praise, in praise, in praise. Amen. <clears throat> Very important. You must understand this. You need faith in prayer to receive anything from God. Are you with me? You need, when you pray, you need faith to receive anything from God. Praise <clears throat> is the expression of that faith. Praise is the expression of that faith. So the one who has faith is the one who will praise God. When you pray and then you begin to praise and continue praising, you're exercising your faith. So I tell you today, mix prayer with praise. 
I said that again. Mix prayer with praise. You know, I've had a lot of people say, you know, so so many. And uh, <laughs> respectfully speaking, I've even had some, you know, you know, fathers saying that um, <laughs> uh, uh, prayer where prayer would not work. No, no, no. I, I do not think that it's it's correct to say so. Prayer works. <laughs> prayer works. I've had people saying that where prayer do not work, try praise. No, no. Prayer works. <laughs> prayer works. What, what, what it is is that you, you, you pray and you use praise to receive. Amen. <laughs> you pray and then follow up with what? Praise. Very important. But to say just praise, don't pray. I, I don't think it's uh, completely scriptural. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Because what is praise? Praise is expressing adoration and gratitude to God. Appreciating him for life. Life to come. Many things to come. And that's why he gave us the mandates in the grateful church. He said, appreciating God. Before we, before we even start loving people. He said, him first. Amen. Very important. And I'd like to tell you also, before I begin to close, <laughs> give expression to your praise. Give exp- I like giving expression. I like, I like lying down flat, you know, lying down flat or kneeling down, you know, if I can't lie down flat, maybe it's a dusty place, you know. I, I like giving expression to my worship, to my praise. You know, praise, you can dance. I don't know how to dance, but I, you see, you see, for me, I don't, some people I know they know how to dance. I don't know how to dance, but I don't care either I know how to dance or not. I just do the dancing. I tell you, in public and in private, I just do the dancing. Because if I have to be checking that this is public, I won't be able to connect. I won't be able to connect. I know that, you know, if you don't know how to dance, don't dance. But maybe when I'm in a, maybe in a party and I can adjust and, you know, understand myself. But in the house of God, anyone goes, if I threw the leg like this, let it go like that. You know, let it go. It's, it's to God. You know, and it's not just for a while. It's not that I'm dancing from, for four hours. No, just for a while. But let's give expression to our dance. <clears throat> let's jump. For youth, you know, for youth. I'm, I'm still a youth, but it's just like I can't do some jumping like some others, you know, anymore. I don't know why. I think I've not been exercising well. You, know, you, can, you can put some jump into it. Expression to our praise. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Somebody, some, someone said, prayer, ask for it. And praise, take it. And I like that. <laughs> person said, prayer ask for it and praise takes it. And I think it's true. Praise God. Amen. <laughs> don't allow, don't wait till you feel like praising. I don't know if you, if you want, if we want to be real with ourselves. You know, sometimes you just don't feel like praising. <laughs> you just don't feel like, I mean, if you have woken up that you woke up in the morning and you don't feel like praying. It happens. <laughs> it happens. It's just that we've not been real to ourselves. We've been, we've been, we've been you know, where I came from, they call it, we've been spirit cocoa too much to ourselves. Now see, at that point, you are not okay. You are okay. It's just that you just don't feel like what? Praying. What you need is a starter. Starter. Just don't force yourself. Don't force yourself. Just put your choice on there. Let me pray. Before you know it, you, you are not the one that starts to, you just see your body just jump just connecting with the song you don't just connect immediately now song finish you are it is your spirit that will suggest the next song very important very important amen very important so if you don't feel like praising just you don't have to feel wait to the time you feel like kick start something kick start something what i'm trying to get at is make praising god a habit that's where i'm going make Praising God and have it. Let's look at 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 14. And then I will close. 2 Corinthians, I'll be closing from there. I, I think I've passed across my message according as he has given it to me. 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 14. 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 14 only. I read it for you. 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 14. It says, now thanks be unto God, which always causeth us to what? To triumph in Christ and make it manifest 
the savior of his knowledge by us in what every place <clears throat> every place every place he says now thanks be unto god which always caused us to triumph in christ and make it manifest the fragrance of his knowledge another translation and that's why our good friend i like that song <laughs> What's his name again? I've forgotten his name. No, no, no. Uh, fragrance to fire. Yeah. What's the song again? Yeah. She. Do you like that song? Let's sing it. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Make your praise a sacrifice. Go ahead. Let's go. You can come if you want. Hebrews 13, verse 15, and I close. He says, By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. 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 When I said make it a lifestyle, well, this is where I'm going. It has to be a sacrifice. To make something a habit, you have to really keep at it. He says, Dear, by him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. If you are a member of the Grateful Church, but also in your lifestyle, you are grateful. I want to encourage you to offer the sacrifice of praise continually, continually. And see God bust out for you in triumphant entry in every challenge of life. Shall we pray? So, Lord, help me. I realize again and again that I need to praise you. So, Lord, help me to erect an altar of praise in my house, 
in my closet. Go ahead and talk to God. <laughs> but adventure, you are in church online, on site, and you are not born again. You won't be able to offer praise to God. <laughs> but because that which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. So if you're there, you're not born again. You don't know God. You don't know Jesus. And you want to give your life to Christ on site, online. Or you have been born again before, but you've not been living the life befitting of a Christian. And you want to return back to Christ. I want you to say this prayer with me from your heart. Say it after me as I lead you. Say it after me. It might be on your screen. It might not be. Just follow me. Say, Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I confess that I need to be right with you. I ask you to please forgive me all my sins and accept me as your The Bible says if I confess with my mouth that Jesus is the Lord of my life, and I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that God raised him up from the dead, I will be saved. I believe in my heart. And I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord and Savior of my life. I thank you, Jesus, for saving me. I am so happy I'm yours now. Amen. If you have said that prayer on site, online, you are now born again. You are now rededicated to Christ. I want to connect with you because from today, I will be praying for you. You will be in my prayer points. Every time the Spirit helps me to remember, you will be my prayer point. But I also want to teach you and guide you on how to walk with God and to lead you into a Bible believing church very close to where you live or in your vicinity or city. <clears throat> Connect with me. Put a comment wherever you're watching from.